So what's the best way to lower ping in this new chapter 3 season 4? A lot of times people will not really realize how many changes actually go on every single season in order to fix high ping players issues. But in today's video, I want to highlight some really important tactics and techniques for you guys to change your ping, lower it, and make it better for your gaming experience within competitive Fortnite. Now be sure to use code SonataYT in the Fortnite item shop if you guys do want to support me. Let's get right into it. So to begin, I'm going to be going against something that I said in a previous ping video. This is going to be the fact that you guys should now definitely upgrade to Windows 11. Back when I said that you shouldn't upgrade, that was at the initial launch of Windows 11 when it was still new, there were still kinks and updates to sort out. However, now Windows 11 is overall better for gaming than Windows 10 ever was. It provides beneficial updates to the game mode which every player should have on, and Fortnite will now have updates centered around the Windows 11 platform. Pretty much think of it like this, if you guys have a phone, you're going to be thinking of it that you should always have a software update whenever it comes out. Windows 11 is basically the same way, you won't lose any files, you won't lose any performance, you guys should definitely upgrade as soon as possible. Now the second thing is that you guys should definitely disable high resolution textures. You can do this by going into the game and disabling the two settings that are there, and then you guys should also try to uninstall it if you have it installed. If you don't, you're not even going to see an option about it, so don't worry, but definitely you guys should try to disable high-risk textures because they add an unnecessary amount of texture to your game that can infect your input delay and ping. It's also important to disable the reminders because then you guys might accidentally install it. Along with this, make sure that you guys are definitely on performance mode. I see a lot of players that aren't on performance mode and then just suffer the consequences of losing input delay and losing free ping. And now the last thing I definitely want to go over is for you guys to definitely enable G-Sync. Now what you guys are going to want to do for G-Sync is go into your NVIDIA control panel. Now your NVIDIA control panel is a software that should have come as you guys installed your drivers for your GPU. If you haven't done that, just look up a video on how to install GeForce drivers. Now the first thing to set up G-Sync is that you guys need to go into your NVIDIA control panel, go to the 3D settings tab, and then enable G-Sync first off. The second thing you guys are going to want to do is definitely set your refresh rate to the highest available. And the third thing you're going to want to do is enable vsync. And you guys might be asking me, whoa, vsync isn't really a good setting to enable. With gsync, vsync actually works it with it together and actually makes it a better experience for you guys to have buttery smooth gameplay with little to no input delay or ping. However, what I would recommend is that you guys don't enable in-game vsync, only enable vsync within the NVIDIA control panel. What you guys are also going to want to do is set gsync to work at full screen plus windowed mode. This will make sure that it's working at all times when you are actually playing the game. Then the last thing you guys are going to want to do is install a software known as NVIDIA Inspector. You guys are going to want to cap your refresh rate at 3 hertz underneath your monitor's native refresh rate. So the example might be if you guys have a 240 hertz monitor, you're going to want to cap your FPS at 237. Now this way your games will keep running smoothly. G-Sync won't be active anymore when you have more FPS than your monitor's refresh rate. So now you can lock the FPS in any game that you guys play. Now what you guys are going to want to finish up doing is making sure that your resolution, your refresh rate, and your entire G-Sync is working by testing it in-game, making sure that your FPS is capped at that value, whatever you may be set it to. And then once you're done with that, you should be pretty much good on setting up G-Sync, and your input delay and ping should be much lower. So now guys, I'm here on my desktop, and I want to show you guys exactly what the best way to change your DNS server and find the best Ethernet settings is. So to start off, I want you guys to go into your little search bar, and then type in control panel. Once you see that, I want you to click on it and have it open. I want you then to go to the network and sharing center. Once you're in here, you want to click on this thing that says Ethernet. You guys might be using Wi-Fi, but still click it. It says Ethernet or Wi-Fi. I'm going to click it. It's going to bring me to this little tab, and I'm then going to want to go over to properties. I go to properties, and it brings up this tab right here. So in order for you guys to change your DNS server, and this is basically what's going to be connecting you to the fastest server possible in your area, you're going to want to go to internet protocol version 4, and then double click on it. And then down here, it's going to say obtain DNS server address automatically and use the following DNS server address. What you guys are then going to want to do is click on use the following DNS server addresses and for the first one you're going to want to type 1.1.1.1 1 .1 and then for the second one you're going to want to type 1.0.0.1. .0 what you're then going to do is click OK and then click OK once more. Now you're going to want to make sure that you click OK twice simply because it's going to save your settings. Then you're going to want to go over to properties, go to this upper tab that says configure and then you're going to want to see this tab and then minimize anything else that's distracting you. You're then going to go to advanced and where it says all of these settings, you guys are going to want to be in this tab and you're going to be changing a good amount of them. Essentially, what you guys are going to want to do is go through each of these settings and anything that's basically saves power and saves internet bandwidth for the rest of the devices in your house, you guys are going to want to turn that off to make sure that you're getting the most ethernet possible for the best ping possible. So for example, you guys are going to see energy efficient ethernet and advanced triple E. These are both energy savers for your ethernet. You're going to want to go to stuff like this and click disable. I'm going to be going through each of them and letting you guys know. So this one, obviously you want to disable ARP offload. You can keep this enabled. This one doesn't really matter. 
This one also doesn't matter if you guys have energy efficient ethernet disabled. You can go to flow control. This one doesn't really matter either. Gigabit light doesn't matter. Green ethernet, you guys are definitely gonna wanna turn this one off. Interrupt moderation, this one doesn't really matter. This one doesn't matter, neither does jumbo frame, neither do most of these settings up ahead. Once you guys get over to the areas around NS offload, you guys are gonna wanna make sure that NS offload is enabled simply because it could cause serious hardware issues if it's not. Power saving mode, you guys are gonna wanna disable this. So go here and click disable. For stuff like priority and VLAN, this one doesn't really matter that much. Receive buffers, also I don't really care about this very much. However, what really does matter is that you guys go to speed and duplex and then click your highest possible value for this. For me, it's gonna be 2.5 gigabytes per second full duplex. You wanna make sure that you're choosing the highest full duplex value, not half duplex. So where it says full duplex down here, you're gonna click that. And then for the rest of these settings, these ones don't really matter, except for the ones that say wake. You guys are gonna wanna disable all of these. So wake on magic packet, I'm gonna disable. This one's already disabled. And this one I'm gonna disable as well. This last one doesn't matter as well. And then you guys are pretty much gonna be done with the majority of simple ethernet settings. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to enable high performance for Windows 11. You're gonna to wanna to open the control panel. Once you're into the control panel, you guys are gonna see a bunch of different tabs. So once you guys are in the control panel, you guys are gonna to wanna to go to the power options tab. So as I click on that, there's gonna be a bunch of different options here. There's gonna be balance, high performance, and power saver. I wanna to try to choose high performance simply because this is gonna devote the most amount of energy to your actual gaming experience. So when you guys are playing games like Fortnite, you guys are gonna be having the most amount of CPU and GPU dedicated to that game. So I'm gonna keep it on high performance. You guys might see ultra fast performance or something of that sort. It might be worded as ultimate performance. It might be worded as super fast. Whatever it may be, I'd recommend you just stick with high because that could cause some serious stability issues within your PC. And once you're done with this, you can exit out and you should be good. But anyways, guys, that is the video on exactly how to lower your ping with the best settings and the best tips that I have for all of you. If you guys did enjoy this video, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel down below. I really enjoyed making this video simply because I think it's really informative and a really good way to find the best optimal settings for you guys to achieve your success in competitive Fortnite. But that's about it for this video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.